Do you know that the blessing is in hearing the word of God and doing it? Hearing as well as doing it. Join me as we look at the topic that says, Act on the word. Act on the word. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our Bible passage will be taken from the book of Matthew 7, 24 to 29. And the memory verse will be from James 1, 22. Let us pray. Blessed Redeemer, we thank you. We bless your name. We magnify your name. We glorify your name. We exalt your name. We thank you because you are the King of God, Groly. The, the I am that I am, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending. You are the Rose of Sharu. You are all in all. Lord, we invite you this morning, we invite you this day, to help us, impart on us, help us that we may act on the word. Let us not just be hearers only, but doers of it. People that act on it. People that take a step of faith on the word that they receive. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today, act on the word. Yesterday we looked at listening to the word and we talked about people who do not who do have ears, but they do not hear from it. But today, we are looking at those who do not act on what they hear. And this time around, that in the Lord believed, that is not the devil doing it, it's the individual that has refused to act on what he has heard. And some of such people they can recall a pastor's sermon word for word, but they don't practice it. They can probably recite the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, but it does not show in their lives because they do nothing in line with the word. Everything about them is just what they want, what they want to do. They don't, they don't even take a step to ask, what does the Bible say concerning this thing? This is what I want to do. What does God say? What is God's view about it? The listen you preach after preaching is like you've poured water on a rock. So this category of people are described in 2 Timothy 3, 7 as ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. So these are people who learn, but somehow the world does not take root in them. Does not take root enough for it to change their character, their view, their orientation, their mindset. Nothing. They remain the same year in, year out. The devil practically paralyzes them and stops them from doing what they have learned. So if you are in this category, I declare your freedom today in Jesus' name. Amen. Another way the devil paralyzes people after they have heard the word is through procrastination. Some people, they have first class in procrastinating. They hear and are determined to apply what they have learned. But then 
they procrastinate until they lose the zeal to do it. That the Geo say that the day his father and the Lord taught them that taught them that worldly music attracts evil spirits. Why godly music repels them and attracts the Holy Spirit. I he said he destroyed all the worldly music tapes that he had. He said the night he preached about cleanliness and pointed our attention to the death under our beds. That same night when we got when they got home, so that he and his wife lifted up the mattress and cleaned under the bed and everywhere. In their home. He said that they did not wait until the next day. That is how to act on what you have heard. This is the same way you should practice the word of God with urgency. James 1 23 to 25 says that when you don't practice the word immediately. It is like not adjusting your clothes while standing in front of the mirror. It will be useless to start adjusting them when you no longer have the mirror before you. Don't let the devil paralyze you. Act on God's words. As soon as you hear it, don't procrastinate, don't delay, don't say tomorrow, don't say next tomorrow, don't say I am coming, I am going. Act immediately when you hear the word of God. And there will be no room for delay, there will be no room for procrastination, there will be no room for forgetfulness when you act immediately. It is my prayer that the Almighty God will help us, give us all the enablement, everything that we need to act on his words. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you. Uh, him for today is Hymn 23 and it says, Take my life and let it be. Take my life and let it be. Let us sing it. It's a very interesting hymn. An old one for that matter, a familiar one. So let's sing it while at work, in the house, while doing our business, whatever thing that we are doing. Let's just sing it along. And your spirit will be surely lifted. Praise the Lord. Before I go, I still want to appreciate all my returning subscribers and those coming to my channel for the first time. I thank you, I appreciate you, and I welcome you to join us in our Open Heaven series. And may the good Lord help you to always listen to his word, to always act on the word. Thank you. Do have a great day.